what we see is purely a result of our brains interpreting the information being received, and often it isn't a true reflection of reality. We simply can't process all the incoming data in real time, so our minds take shortcuts and fill in the blanks, which in certain situations can result in seeing things that simply aren't there. Get ready to enter a world where you'll start questioning your own reality as we take a look at 15 optical illusions you have to try. Number 15. The Ambiguous Garage Roof Our brains don't just show us the image that exactly replicates what our eyes are perceiving, but it uses contextual analysis and previously gained knowledge to make adjustments too. This is normally very useful when going about our day-to-day -day lives, but the true extent of the effect becomes clear when you look at certain objects in a mirror. In this illusion, called the ambiguous garage roof, there's a model car positioned underneath a roof that's made of a folded card. The actual roof looks like it's been inverted downwards, but in the reflection in the mirror, it appears to be angled in a completely different way. The fact that we know this is a replicated image of exactly the same garage roof makes this even more strange. So how's this possible? The answer becomes clear when the roof is lifted off of the garage, and it's revealed that neither of the versions of it that we think we're seeing are actually true. It's a cleverly folded piece of card with lines that aren't evenly spaced out at all, and by rotating it and replacing it on top of the garage, it's possible to reverse the effect. So the real one now looks like a complete roof, and the reflected one looks like it's bending in half on itself. Number 14. Neon Color Spreading the phenomenon called neon color spreading is a type of transparency effect optical illusion that causes our brains to fill in information that's simply not there in the first place. There are various different ways in which this can be shown, and one of the most effective is a series of black lines on a white background that are crisscrossing over one another. At the center of the image, if you imagine a circle and recolor all of the lines that are within its perimeter, you'll notice that something peculiar happens. Instead of just seeing the lines as different colors, it'll appear as if there's now a circle that's faintly made up of the new color too, when we know in reality the background is still completely white. The effect can be taken several steps further, such as on a grid of black lines where only small segments where each line intersects are recolored, and this will also create colored circles at each point. And you can even create colored circles within the empty space by manipulating the color of the lines within self-contained objects, too. Quite why this happens hasn't been fully explained by researchers, but the effect is more prominent when color is added to an otherwise black and white image. It's thought possible, then, that there's a natural misalignment between how our eyes perceive monochrome and color, but this is yet to be proved for certain. Number 13. The Schroeder Staircase the Schroeder Staircase is a famous two-dimensional optical illusion that was first published in 1858. To begin with, you think you're looking at just a basic diagram of a flight of stairs, but if you look at it for long enough, its orientation may just change. You can even turn the image completely upside down, and it'll suddenly revert to where you see the same image as you did before. As with other impossible drawings, this was the furthest this illustration could be taken for more than 150 years, but then a designer actually managed to create a 3D version of it too. In the same way, to begin with, you see a 3D staircase that's lowest at the right and highest at the left. Nothing seems too out of the ordinary until it's spun around. Somehow, you still perceive the staircase in exactly the same way as before, even though you know this shouldn't be possible. To prove there's no sleight of hand going on here, it's possible to add an object on the top step, and once it's spun around again, the object is still sitting on the bottom step, almost as if the rules of physics have taken a temporary vacation. The truth is ultimately revealed, though, when the staircase is turned onto its side. It actually is a completely level structure, and it's the way that the steps have been printed onto it and the position of the camera that gives the illusion that there's a difference in the height of either end. Number 12. Which way is it spinning? When our brains interpret what we see of a truly 3D object, it's normally quite easy to accurately understand their orientation and the way in which they're moving, but things get a whole lot trickier when you're looking at a 3D object that's been drawn in 2D. This is a similar effect to when you draw a cube on a piece of paper and can see it in several different ways, but things get a whole lot stranger if actual movement is involved. This is a recent winner of the Illusion of the Year Award, and it's called the Dual Axis. 
At first, you see a series of lines that are moving, and within a few moments, your brain will have analyzed and interpreted this in a way that makes sense. The problem, though, is that around half of the people who watch this are left with the impression that it's rotating horizontally, and everyone else sees it rotating vertically. Often with this illusion, it's only possible to see it one way or the other, unless you're able to concentrate enough to convince your brain to reanalyze it. To make it easier though, a colored axis can be added into the animation to force you to see it rotating in either direction. Number 11, Munker Circle Illusion. The way that we see color is one of the most regularly investigated concepts in the field of perception. And the more illusions that you see to do with it, the clearer it becomes why. This is a version of the Munker Circle Illusion, and what you think you see isn't actually in the image at all. It's made up of 12 circles spaced out in the background, with a series of colored lines on top of them that alternate blue, orange, green, and purple. The question, then, is what color are the circles in the background? The weird thing about this is that the circles all appear to be different colors, but they'll also change when you focus on them. You can't, for example, directly look at any of the circles that are green because the moment you do, they'll change to a different hue. But in your peripheral vision, you can clearly see that some of them are in fact green. Of course, the real illusion here is that all of the circles are exactly the same color as each other, and the differences you see are all down to how the horizontal lines are interfering with your brain's perception of them. There are a number of ways that this illusion can be shown with different shapes and objects, which begs the question, how true is any color that we ever see? Number 10. A Fata Morgana A Fata Morgana is a very specific type of optical illusion that's seen at sea, in icy regions or in deserts, and it's so bizarre that it's named in Italian after the evil sorceress Morgana Le Fay from the Arthurian legend. Visible with the naked eye and also possible to capture on camera, you might think at first that what you're looking at has been manipulated in some way. The result of the effect is that objects you'd usually expect to see on the surface of the water, ice, or sand appear to be suspended in the air, which surely must imply some kind of witchcraft is taking place. The reality, of course, is far less mystical, but arguably just as magical. It happens because of the way the light bends when it passes through layers of air that are different temperatures, and in particular on the ocean during calm weather, it's quite normal for there to be a layer of cooler air on the surface with warmer air above. Any object within the cool air will then from a distance appear to be higher up, but that's just the start of how strange this phenomenon can be. As well as seemingly raising the height of something, a Fata Morgana can also mirror objects, invert them, and on extremely rare occasions, rotate them. You can see why, in historic times, the people were convinced there were strange powers at work when this was seen, and it was only in recent decades that it's actually been fully understood. Number 9. The Pulsating Star the mueller lyre illusion is a famous one that most people have seen, whereby two straight lines are drawn that are the same length as each other, and then arrows are added at the ends that are facing in opposite directions, and this gives the illusion that one line is somehow noticeably longer than the other. This effect can be taken a step further, though, to create something called a pulsating star. It's made by arranging ten lines of equal length around half a circle at regular intervals, and then splitting the lines perfectly in half and by coloring one side blue and the other black. Next, you add arrowheads at the end of each line, as well as the intersections between the blue and the black segments, and then animate these arrowheads to move from pointing inwards to pointing outwards. Despite fully knowing that the only actual movement that's taking place is happening to the arrowheads, our brain decides to interpret things in a completely different way. Instead, the lines start to move. The black and blue segments get shorter and longer, and they also appear to alternate between moving closer to and further from the center. Number 8. The Girl in a Field The old saying goes that a picture can tell a thousand words, but there are some that are so confusing that many more are written about them when they're shared online. One of the strangest ones of recent times is this image of a girl standing in a field, and you'll immediately notice that her legs seem to be unusually long and skinny. Of course, there's no problem with this at all, but what if you were to hear that you're not actually properly seeing her legs at all? Take a moment to look closer and see if you can see what's actually going on. With a grimace on her face, she appears to be standing on some scorched grass in a field and holds her hands nervously. 
Some people can see the illusion here straight away, and some have reportedly taken 10 or 20 minutes to work it out. So to help you out if you're still struggling, try focusing on the girl's hands. You'll notice that she's holding on to a piece of white plastic that, if you follow it down, it's actually the top of a huge bag of popcorn that just so happens to be almost the identical color of the grass on the ground. Once you see it, it's impossible to unsee it, and it's amazing that our brains make it so difficult to become aware of to begin with, especially as the pieces of popcorn are so obviously not blades of grass. How long did it take you to see the truth? Make sure to let us know down in the comment section. Number 7. The Peanut Brill Staff Illusion Depending on the perspective you're looking at something from, your brain interprets the image to show you the representation that makes the best sense. Add to this the fact that we've evolved in a world that's full of 3D objects, and things can get strange when you're looking at a 2D image that your brain is trying to look at in 3D. That's exactly what happens in this image, which is known as the Pina Brellstaff illusion. Made up of concentric rings of parallelograms, if you keep your head still, you'll see this as a stationary image. Try moving your eyes closer to the screen and back again, though, and you'll immediately start to see motion in the rings, even though you know for sure that there isn't any. This effect has baffled researchers for a long time, and it was only recently that it's finally understood. It's a result of a communication delay between specific parts of your brain that are responsible for processing visual information, and has even been shown to happen in certain animal species, too. Studies have shown that there's about a 15 millisecond delay between the neurons in the brain responsible for global motion, which is the way that lines appear to be moving, and the ones responsible for local motion, which is the true way that they're not moving at all. The orientation of the shapes in the rings further trick the brain into thinking it's looking at a 3D image, and the result is a temporary sensation of movement. Number 6. Name the Animal how good do you think you are at recognizing animals? There are a few optical illusion images that have been purposefully designed to be confusing in a way that they can be seen as one object or another, but it's rare to see an actual video where similar confusion takes place. That's why this footage, which was released in 2019, went viral at the time. People are still at odds with what they're looking at. Someone's hand is stroking the creature, but can you actually be certain what species it is? Most people will either say they're looking at a raven or a rabbit, but you might even see something completely different, like a penguin. Again, this is the result of our brains filling in missing information, and in many ways there's not enough data present to differentiate between the two. It could easily be a raven looking up at the top right with its beak half open, or a rabbit with its nose hidden beneath its fur and its ears pointing up to the top right. The more you look at it, however, the clearer the truth becomes, as it is, in fact, a raven. The birds love having their heads rubbed, so it's absolutely feasible that one would stay still for long enough for this to be filmed, and a rabbit would have likely behaved very differently. Number 5. The Bulging Checkerboard We've all seen a checkerboard in real life, where they're made up of a series of identically shaped squares that alternate between black and white. This checkerboard, however, is very different because it's been designed to bulge out at the center, or has it? You'll have noticed that the squares in the middle of the image have smaller, counter-colored squares added to them, and it's actually these that are giving the illusion of the bulge, as the checkerboard itself is as regular as any other. The exact process behind how this works isn't fully understood yet, but it's to do with the way that the orientation of the smaller squares has been arranged in such a way that it guides the brain into thinking that something's happening that isn't. Again, it's suspected to be linked to how our brains try to interpret 2D images in a 3D space, and the smaller squares are all we need to perceive added depth. Number 4. The Ebbinghaus Illusion How much do you think that size matters? And is there a way to make something appear to be larger than it actually is? Well, this next image is called the Ebbinghaus Illusion, and it proves that our concept of size is in many ways more reliant on context than reality. The illusion is made up of two orange circles that are surrounded by a ring of circles of another color. The left image has larger circles in the outer ring, and the right image has smaller circles in the outer ring. So which of the orange circles is the biggest? The answer, of course, is that both of the orange circles are exactly the same size, and this illusion is one of the main pieces of evidence that has led researchers to believe we have two main routes of neural processing of imagery, one that handles perception and one that deals with motion. 
In three-dimensional versions of this illusion, for example, participants are able to reach forward and grab hold of the central circle effectively, no matter whether it appears to be larger or smaller. But it does absolutely affect the perception element. There are plenty of real-world examples of this effect too, which further forces you to question how much you can truly trust what you're seeing. Number 3. The Impossible Waterfall We know from our experiences in the world that there are certain principles that can't be overcome, and that's why certain images of impossible shapes are so popular. You've definitely seen depictions of impossible staircases or shapes which are possible on 2D surfaces because they aren't subjected to the rules of the 3D world, but things get truly bizarre when one of these can be replicated in real life. This video shows the impossible waterfall in action, after an engineer managed to build one in his workshop. As you'll see, he pours the water into the structure by the water wheel at the base, and it flows up the ramps to the top where it pours over the edge, and makes the wheel spin. It seems completely impossible, and your brain will struggle to understand how this has been done. At a point, you'll decide that there's no way that what you're looking at could actually be true, and you're right. This, unfortunately, is an optical illusion that's all too commonplace in the modern world and has been done by clever video editing. The clip is actually a combination of three pieces of footage that together make it appear as if basic principles like the law of gravity have stopped working. When shown alongside other illusions, however, your brain's more likely to take it in context and believe the trickery at first before figuring out what's actually happening. Number two, the watercolor illusion. This image is known as the watercolor illusion, and it's another example of how the brain can quite literally fill in the blanks with something that's not there. It's made up of a series of boxes that are either filled in with parallel vertical or horizontal lines that alternate in color between black and white. If you look closely, you'll see the black lines have a thin colored border that's either green or red, and this is all that's needed to confuse your brain. Instead of seeing the image as it's been created, the vast majority of people will experience color leakage, whereby the white lines look as if they've been painted with watercolors. The effect can also be replicated with complicated patterns, such as in this image that shows the red outline of the Mediterranean Sea on a background, which makes the interior of the shape appear to be slightly red too. Number one, the eye bender. This illusion is sometimes referred to as the eye bender, and it not only shows you how your eyes and brain adjust to visual input, but also how they take a while to revert to normal afterwards. The video begins with a series of colored images of eyes, and what you'll need to do is intensely focus in the center and concentrate on the letters that start being displayed. You don't need to concentrate on which letters they are or try to make any words from them. Their purpose is to keep your eyes focused on the center of the screen. As the wavy lines swirl and move, you may experience some color latency, where you're seeing a color in your peripheral vision that isn't actually there. At the same time, you may feel slightly queasy as the lines keep moving, but you should keep looking directly at the center for as long as you can. Now, prepare for the image to change, and now you'll be shown a full screen of text. Are you able to cleanly read it, or is something strange happening to your perception? Most people, if they've done this properly, will see the letters moving and rippling, mainly in their peripheral vision, and this is an example of our brain's counteracting motion to try to make sense of what's being looked at. In the animation, these lines are moving in patterns that would normally be too distracting to be able to focus on the central letter, so your brain takes action to try to stabilize the peripheral image. When you're shown the image of writing, your brain is still applying this effect to the image, which in this case makes the letters begin to move. Luckily, this doesn't last for too long, and your vision should return to normal fairly quickly. Watch our obscure playlist for more top 15 videos about the more obscure subjects in our world. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best and most obscure videos.